What's up guys? This is a Nerf Falcon Fire, as some of you may know, and let's be honest, it kinda sucks. It's a single shot pistol that you slide open the breech at the top to load one dart, fire, load another, fire, and so on. Like most stock Nerf blasters, it only hits about 50 to 60 feet per second out of the box, and offers no real advantages over a mag-fed blaster like a Retaliator. Earlier this year, a creator from Singapore called Gavin Fuzzy created the Spamf Upgrade Kit. I'm a little late to the party on this one and there's a lot of installation guides already out there, but the basics of installing the Spamf Kit are to undo all the screws of the Falcon Fire, throw out pretty much every part of the Falcon Fire except the grip and plunger tube, open said plunger tube, chuck out the measly stock spring, pop in the Spamf breech, Put the plunger head back in with an upgraded spring, such as this worker 9 kilo. Put everything back together, it's pretty straightforward from here and there's a lot less screws to do up with the new parts. Gavin Fuzzy has photos to help with assembly if you get stuck. You can find those photos at the same place where you clicked to buy the spamf. Links will be below. But once it's all together, now we've got an actually good blaster. It's now mag fed and fits both worker talon mags and jet katana mags with the katanas also allowing you to top load the mag without removing it. With the maximum spring the Spamp kit is rated to, which is the worker 9 kilo spring I'm using, it's hitting some pretty good numbers. This crony test is with worker gen 3 darts. As you can see, we've got an average of 137, a high of 145, and a low of 133. That's a pretty big improvement over the Falcon Fire's stock performance of 60 feet per second, but I can do better. This video today is going to be about modding the Spamf kit to make it hit over 180 feet per second, so let's begin. First of all, I need to introduce you to this Nerf Sharp Fire. It's going to be our sacrifice today. The Sharp Fire was the predecessor of the Falcon Fire, and as such, actually has a fair bit in common. Unlike the Falcon Fire though, it came with a stock and a barrel. We don't need those today, but I just thought those add-ons were pretty cool. What we do need though, is the catch and the plunger head, and I'll show you why we need those in a second. Coming back to the Spamf, let's skip undoing all the screws again and get on to replacing the catch. As I bring it up closer to the camera, you should be able to see the sharp fire catch on the right has a lot more plastic to it. This is why the Spamf kit is only rated to 9 kilos. The Falcon Fire's catch can break easier. Luckily for us modders though, the sharp fire uses the same shape catch, so we can just give the Spamf a transplant. Opening up the plunger tube, another part that can break easier on the Falcon Fire is its plunger head. So swap that out for the sharp fire one. I'm also going to add some lube. Now that the sharp fire parts are installed, I can upgrade the spring to this worker 12 kilo, but I'm sure some of you would try even stronger springs than this one. Put the plunger tube back together, because there's one more piece to this puzzle. The barrel the Spamf comes with is this clear tube, which personally I find is a little loose fitting on the darts. If I want to see some high velocities, I know I'm going to have to give it a brass barrel. Now, there's a lot of ways to skin a brass barrel as the saying goes, but any method you come up with to widen the brass to 16mm will work. You could use electrical tape or anything really, but I had a piece of Jet Blaster Omni Barrel spare after modding the Tiger Exus, so I just used that. You need the 16mm outer diameter portion to be the same length as the clear tubing was, in order for it to seat in there properly. And the brass, I just went with enough length to attach a scar barrel if I ever want to. Ah, 
After putting everything back together, we get this beautiful spam which looks pretty cool with a Blastertech scar attached, it's like a little suppressor. Let's remove the scar for now though and show you some big crony numbers with the worker gen 3 darts. As you can see, we got an average of 173, high of 186, and low of 161. Now, I personally know that I don't have a good air seal with this because when I hold my finger over the barrel on fire, there's no air left after as little as one second. I think that's why some of the numbers were in the 160s. Personally, I'm happy with how it's performing for now though, but just beware that with more tinkering, you could get this to average a little higher. One final little nerf nugget for you guys is that say your nerf club rules don't allow pistols to be mag fed for pistol rounds. You can still load the spam single shot like you would with a falcon fire. I found that I could load it very quickly with mine and I'd say it's very viable for pistol rounds to use it like that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Any questions leave them below and as always thanks for watching.